Hello gentlemen, today I am going to speak about the kilowatt KVA and KVAR and the importance of each of these and why kilowatt is said as active load and KVAR is called as reactive load and why the, there is always an apparent load from which is derived the kilowatt that is the true power and the KVAR that is the reactive power. If the K KVAR is harming our the power system, then why there is not such an arrangement by which the KVAR can be totally diminished and why at all it should be kept. What is the real importance of KVAR? KVA and kilowatt and KVA R. What are the meanings of these terms? First, let's first come to KVA. It is a common specification. It is a common specification of the alternators in a generator in ships or anywhere. And also in alternators. It is also a specification in the transformers also in the transformers so what does this KVA mean KVA means K for kilo, V for volt, A for amps. So, kilo, volt, ampere or K, V, A. In reactive loads current is not in phase with voltage. The current is not in phase with voltage. So, what happens? So, what happens? It is just like this. The graph of this voltage and currents are like this. If this is voltage, current is somewhat like
like this. This is MPS. So you can see that the voltage which is drawn by the blue lines are not in phase with the current curve which is drawn by the red one.